Hey guys, I've got a game of free for all on Wasteland today, and I'm using the FAMAS with Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Steady Aim Pro. I also have a red dot sight on my FAMAS because Wasteland is a very, very big map, and I like to be precise and make sure I don't waste too many bullets because I'm using Sleight of Hand Pro. And I don't want to, you know, run out of bullets or I'm screwed because my secondary is the Kimbo Rathicas, and that's a big no no if I lose all my bullets, and you know. I don't want to pick up someone else's gun that's, you know, like an F2000 or an ACOG scope intervention. That's really, really bad. I, I don't want that. I don't want none of that. I want to win this game as flawlessly as I can, and, you know, I'm going to try my best to do that. Now, I wanted to test something out with Steady Aim Pro. I, I normally don't use it. I, I usually use Ninja. You see me use Ninja in most of my games, and... Sometimes I'll use Commando, sometimes I use Sit Rev, but most of the time I'm using Ninja Pro. And well, I just wanted to see if it actually made a difference, and in my opinion, it doesn't really make a difference. The only time it will actually matter is if you're playing someone as good as you or as a tryhard as you. Now, I mean, like those types of players with the Turtle Beaches, the Asteroid 40s the Tritons, the Triton 720s, and all those guys that actually have a headset and know what competitive gameplay is, they know how to play, they know where the spawn systems are, that's when you want to switch to Ninja Pro, and you can tell by, if you get killed, you know, watch the kill cam, if you get sound horde, or it looks like he's sound whoring you or waiting for you around the corner, change to Ninja Pro, because, you know, also, another thing, if you're playing against a camper, you know, you always want to use Ninja Pro, because they will never, never expect it. The, most of the campers I play against, they have a reaction time of zero to none, and you know, just just take advantage of that. It's a great idea, and I'm not saying that I'm hating on campers, but that's my general that's my general idea of what campers' reaction time is. That's most of that's most of the campers that I play against. They just don't have a good reaction time, and I mean, I don't blame them. But you know, I'm just gonna try to play the game and win. Uh, I'm gonna stay in this spot for a little bit because I want to get some kills in my Harrier Strike before I move out and I can hear this guy on my left, I'm not sure if he's behind me or or in a different position. So I'm gonna wait for him to reveal his location much further so I can kill him and there he goes and I kill him. And they shoot down my air support. I'm not gonna get mad about that because that's a great strategy to play the game. Although, you know, it's much better to do more killing than shooting down air support because you can shoot down all the air support in the world, but if you don't get any kills, you're not gonna win the game. So try to balance the two and maybe try to, you know, shoot down air support and then try to get some kills. Because if you're all, you know, all of one or the other, it's gonna be hard to do good. Now, right now, I'm playing the offensive because I, I know I have an advantage against these guys and I'm playing a map that's favorable to my gun. So I'm going to use it as best as possible and my pave low gets shot down very, very quick. And I am no sniper with, uh, what, what's this thing called? The AC-130, I'm really bad with it because I don't really use it as much as I use the chopper gunner and, well, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna say I'm really bad with it, but I am bad with it. <laughs> you can see that I'm failing with the the machine gun, and with the big old 105 millimeter, I'm failing with that too. But you know what? It's it doesn't matter because these guys are really just getting killed. But they did a great job again of shooting out my air support. And I'm gonna try to conserve my ammo. But as I say that, I waste a bunch of bullets on a bunch of nothing. But you know what? It's okay, because I'm going... I don't think I pick up a gun or I die. I don't remember. But I'm going to try to find a gun if I can. And you can see that I'm using these tanks for cover. It looks as if there was a nuke that went on over in this area. That's probably why there is radiation fields behind or to the left of me. And, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that I like this map, but for Team Deathmatch, it's horrible because... Everyone just camps, 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 and I don't know. I just, I just don't like it. I get, I kind of get uh, out of position right here. And listen to this. Yep. Did you hear that? That guy just sort of raged on me for killing me. I was sort of out of position, and the his gun actually 
well, had the advantage right there because you know the FAMAS is a is a three burst gun or rifle and it's pretty much weak close range and it's more favorable to the long to medium range um, battles and short range isn't really much for the it isn't really good for the FAMAS so you want to stay away from that and that clearly proves it I had the first shot I had a good I had a good shot basically and it still wasn't enough I mean I tried to do one more burst but it wasn't quick enough to kill the guy uh, I was up against an automatic rifle and I really didn't have a chance or an automatic submachine gun that is practically an assault rifle I, di I didn't have a chance whatsoever I mean if I was a little bit farther maybe I would be able to kill him because it's a lot easier. I see a silhouette right here and I shoot at it and I, I can precisely shoot at him because of the red dot sight and that's why I like using it on this map. And that's pretty much it for the commentary. And I want you guys to listen to these guys talk some more shit because it's kind of funny. I'll see you guys later. Uh, post a comment on what you guys want to see, what type of gameplay, what type of whatever. If you want to see aggressive camping, whatever you want. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Rate, comment, subscribe. Enemy UAV online. This guy's like real, huh? Uh! He's winning. He's like all of that, like it's life or death.